Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined in the Asylum Studios by very fresh, exciting new talent, Laura Knight. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And uh, tell us a bit about your music. Okay, well, my music, I guess, has developed a lot as I've been playing and um, writing since a very young age, I guess, of 12. Um, it started off pretty acoustic, um, quite jewel-like. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, as I've been growing up and experiencing a lot of new things, I guess it's got quite edgy and so it's pretty much a mix of pop rock, a little bit of punk, um, but still maintaining the melodic tones with, because I play acoustic guitar, so sort of still maintains that within it as well. Fantastic. Yeah. And is it like, do you do the songwriting yourself? Yeah, yeah. I um, yeah, definitely will always be the songwriter mm -hmm. behind my songs. Um, I sort of consider that one of my main strengths, I think. Um, so it's really important that everything that I put out there is, uh, is written by me. Yeah. Fantastic. Got that mm. really authentic kind mm. of sound to things. Yeah. So you start at such a young age. Like, how, tell us about that. Yeah. Um, well... It's journey back in time. Yeah, back in time. I actually have been performing for quite a while, even though I guess I'm still pretty young, I guess, at this point. Um, but yeah, just been in and out of bars and stuff, playing playing to lots of, you know, older audiences, which has been quite an experience. In the studio for a while, I, um, I got in the studio quite young, at the age of 12, um, working with a record company um, and just, you know, demoing all my songs and stuff. So it's been, it's really good to have had that experience, I guess, to, you know, be behind the mic and in the studio and working with musicians and stuff like that and learning the process behind developing a song. Um, what else? Just, you know, interviews and stuff like yeah. that and just and just continuing to write and play. And so I guess that lead up, it's been sort of slow and I guess, you know, I haven't really come out there as such, but um, that's been really good considering I was younger and it's really good to um, introduce myself slowly to Yeah, industry. definitely. Definitely so, build up a fan a yeah. base and a foundation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How'd you go, like, winning over the older audiences when you're on stage just starting um, out? I suppose a big thing for me is um, relating to an audience and that's m really the main reason that I write. So I think I found that that, um, that kind of connection with the audience came quite naturally to me because what I wrote about was really honest. So I naturally found that people were you know, captivated or interested in what I was singing about and therefore I suppose that's what won them over. So that's always a good feeling and that's really the main reason and that's the that I do it and the best feeling that I get from performing live is hearing or seeing and listening to other people's reactions after hearing, you yeah, know, my definitely. songs. So, yeah, so. Yeah, it definitely goes back to that authenticity and the connection there. It doesn't mm. matter. It crosses through age barriers very nicely. Definitely. And are uh, you recording at the moment or plans? Yes, Tell us about I that. I am. So what's happening at the moment, I am out of school, fresh out of school, so just finished, which is good. Now focusing on you know what I am who I am now mm -hmm. uh the image that I want to project now um I'm in the studio currently um in a lot of different studios just trying to find the right producer and the right uh band members um and the, the sound for me I suppose so you know I know where I'm heading and I have the goal in mind and I guess I'm sort of just testing out the waters at the moment um and just getting all my songs together uh in in preparation for an album so it's really exciting fantastic you sound like you've got things mapped out what's yeah. the next 12 months give us the, um, give us the grand plan okay so the next 12 months will entail in and out of studios um i'm going to get into gigging a lot more so i just because i don't want to lose that because performing live is mm. a really good skill and um aspect to have as yeah, an definitely. artist. Yeah, definitely will help you in studio yeah, work. Yeah, and it's part sure. of what I do. So it'll be really good to just really just start doing that and, and gathering, you know, new fans or new followers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and just, yeah, preparing for an album um, and just meeting new people. So I've been doing lots of networking and um, talking to a lot of old and wiser musicians mm -hmm. and just getting advice um, and possibly doing some co-writing. I'm, I'm open to that. I'm, I really love writing myself, um, but it's always interesting to, you know, work and co-write with other people mm. too. So um, doing a bit of that. And, Fantastic. Yeah. Is there anyone in particular who you, like, you just would oh. love to co-write with? Uh, Paramore. Paramore? <laughs> yeah, big fan? Yeah, they're, well, even just to talk to them really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I um, actually did meet them at their Soundwave tour, which was pretty cool. Cool. Um, 
they're just unreal. I really, they're quite an inspiration to me. I think I really love um, mainly about them is just their stage presence. Um, obviously, Hayley Williams' voice mm-hmm. is uh, a great one. Um, but, yeah, they're a really great band that I look up to a lot. That's fantastic mm. to hear. Definitely mm. very driven, definitely got the future <laughs> open in front of you. Um, and for the viewers at home who want to find out more about you, I'm sure you've got a MySpace or a website. Yeah. How can they... Yeah, cool. What so the website's going to be up pretty soon, I think, in about a couple of weeks. So you just go to www.lauranight.com.au. Um, yeah, and you can just hear all the latest news and um, check out my newest demos there. Um, and, yeah, and see my bio and everything like that and follow any new gigs that will be coming up. So... Fantastic. Well, thank you for joining the show, Laura Knight. The next big thing I have on very good information, the next big thing (laughs) in Australian music, Miss Laura Knight, you're watching Asylum TV.